Welcome to Latricia Creates. I am Latricia. In today's video, we're going to create a faux leather AirPod case using our Cricut machine. Let's take a look at the materials for this project. For this project, I'm going to use some faux leather, a pair of scissors, some double cap rivets, a rivet tool, a rubber mallet, some cam snaps, a snap press, my purple strong grip Cricut mat, some masking tape, my brayer tool, my Cricut maker, and a template. You ready? Let's make it. The first thing we're going to do is head over to Cricut Design Space to upload our template. I'm in Cricut Design Space, ready to start my project. I'm going to go to the top right, click on New Project. That's going to take us to the canvas. In the canvas, I'm going to go down to the bottom left, click on Upload. Go here to Upload Image. I'm going to drag my image in from my desktop. Now I'm going to go to the bottom right, click Upload, click on the image, go to the bottom right, click on Add to Canvas. Here the image is in the canvas. There's nothing that I need to do to it. All I have to do is click Make it in the top right. Before I do, I just want to say that I got this image from designbundle.net. Inside the file, there are three different designs. I'm using the scallop design for the video, but I'm also going to make the other two designs off camera. Another really cool thing about this design is if you don't have a Cricut machine or any type of cutting machine, there is a PDF that you can print out and cut it by hand. Now, let's make it. Go to the top right, click on Make It. I'm going to move this over just a tad. I'm also going to move this over a tad to save some room on my faux leather. Now we're ready. I'm going to go to the bottom right, click on continue. I already have the material on my bookmark list, so I'm going to click here to fold leather, paper thin. I'm going to change the pressure to more. I already have my fine point blade loaded in the machine. So we're going to head over to the machine, load the mat. Load it into the Cricut and get ready to cut it. I'm back at the craft table. I'm going to cut the faux leather, add it to the mat. Then I'll be ready to load it to the machine. I'm going to place the pretty side down onto the mat. Add the masking tape to all four corners. All four sides, rather. It's good to go. Now let's load it into the machine. It's all done. Before I unload it, let me check to make sure it cut all the way through, which it did. Unload the mat. Let's remove this from the mat. Oh, that cut beautifully. Let me poke out these holes. Then we'll be ready to assemble it. I'm back and ready to assemble the case. I have four sets of rivets here. I also have two sets of the cam snaps. I have the male set and the female set. I'm going to take one part, put it on the top here, put the other part on the inside, take this, put the flat part onto this black part, and squeeze it. You don't have to squeeze too hard because we don't want it to bunch up, in which I may have just squeezed it too hard. It did bunch up a little. So you don't want to squeeze it too hard because you don't want it to bunch up. 
Then we're going to take the other one and we're going to put the flat part on the inside and the other part on the outside like this. Take the press, put it, put the black flat piece inside this and squeeze it. Now we're going to add the strap. With the strap, we're going to take a rivet, put the rivet inside the hole, add it to this hole, flip it over, take a little cap, push the cap in. Now we're going to take our rivet tool. As you see, there's an indention here. This fits perfectly into that indention. There's also an indention on this part of the tool. There's a flat, smooth part. Then there's a part with the indention. We're going to take the part with the indention, put it on top of the rivet, take the mallet, and hit it three or four times. Now that's on securely. We're going to do the same thing for the other side. Take the rivet, place it inside the hole, put it in that hole, take the cap or the other side of the rivet, snap it down, put it on here, take this side, put it directly on top of the rivet, and hit it four times, three or four times. You may even hit it only twice. Now our little strap is on there. It is so cute. Oh my goodness. I am loving this little case. Now we're going to do the side parts. With the side parts, we're going to take the rivet piece and put, put the rivet part on the inside here. Then we're going to take this top piece, put it on top of there and stick it inside the rivet. Then we're gonna take the bottom piece and stick it inside the rivet. Then we're gonna add the cap to it. Snap it on. Now we're gonna take this side, put it on the tool. Take this, put it on the rivet. Hit it three or four times. That's in nice and secure. We're going to do the same thing on this side. Put it from the inside. Take this back piece. Put it inside that hole. Take this front piece. Put it inside that hole. Take the cap. Snap it on. Put this side down onto the tool. Put this side on top, hit it three or four times, and we're all done. We have a cute little case for our AirPod Pros. Let me grab my AirPod Pros, and I'll show you how it looks in the case. That is super adorable. <laughs> I just love this. This is cute. So cute. I'm going to go make the other two designs and I'll meet you back with the final project. Here's a closer look at the final project. Isn't it so cute? I just love it. I love this scallop design. I really love everything about this. It is super, super cute. I also made two other ones, like I said. There were three different designs. I made one with cork fabric, turned it into a keychain. This is really cute. I love the pink cork. I made one with red faux leather. I wanted to make one with genuine leather, 
but the rivets were kind of small. My leather is kind of thick. So that's something you have to pay attention to is the size of the rivets. Also, I had these silver rivets and I had these antique gold rivets. As far as the cam snaps, you can use any color cam snaps. You can also use metal snaps, pearl snaps. Use your imagination to create these any way you want. They are really cute. They're really fast and easy to make. Here are the three different designs, the three different patterns. They're all really cute. They look like little purses for your earbuds. I hope you are able to make some as well. I also hope you got something out of this video as always. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, keep creating.